Good evening, Facebook fans. Baxter Cribs here with you, a training with Baxter. Wanted to show you a little thing. I've been asking some, or have been asked questions and seen comments about whenever people want to join or they are told you need to use a business manager for to do work with your fan page. And many people are aggravated at it because they can't transfer back and forth or they think they can't transfer back and forth to see the different things, uh, to get the different fields in your work. So I want to take a moment or two, hopefully, to show you something with this little Zoom recording I got going on here to hopefully show you these things. And so, well, I'm sharing my screen here and got this little recording on and I like Zoom because there's so many things that you can do with this. Um, I wanted to show you here, we want to antidote a little bit of stuff here. I'm recording this, but what I wanted to show you here is how we can indeed do, let me get my little boxes checked here like I want to check it. Here we go. First thing we want to do is you're, when you're here and you see at the top of your page where it says right there, business manager. Okay, the very first thing we want to do to be able to get into the business part of it, once you come to your page, um, then you need to be able to click on, and it's not doing this for me, here we go, there we are. Now, so I click on business manager, it's then going, should be able to take me into my business side of my page. And once I'm in here, this is where See then that I do my posting and so forth. Let me clear off a little stuff right here, clear all my drawings. And so once I'm in here now, I can um, do the postings and so forth, wherever I want to put up here, right, right here. And this is where I post to do my changes or add additions to or to do ads. And this way I am inside of Business Manager as Facebook really wants you to be. Now, what most people have a problem with, let me see if I can move me out the way here where I can see what I'm doing, is that once they get in here, they're like, okay, I can't see the other side of Facebook, which is really true, okay? At this point, you cannot see the other side of Facebook because you're working behind, if you will, a firewall and I don't know that's actually a firewall I'm just saying there is a wall of some sort that Facebook has put up where you cannot see your other pages that comments your your instant messenger none of that will appear in here from your profile page okay if you do not have it inside business manager but here's what you can do okay from here as you can see here you can do you can change and use your ad manager and all these things your audience is reporting you can set up new ads and those type things here. Just click on that, and that's where you go to be able to do that. But now what most people have a problem with is being able to get back over or to see other things. Now, I'll show you right here. First of all, right here is where you have notifications, or if you click on this, you've got your ads been approved just like you do on your profile page. And it talks about the different things that are here and who liked your page and what have you. <clears throat> you click on this little flag right here, it says pages, and you'll see I have three pages inside my business manager that I take care of. Baxter C, you're training with Baxter, as you see here, that's what we're on now. Then Baxter Cribs, E L I I, or E I I, which is another page where I do organic stuff. And then a church that I attend, or I promote it as well here, and I take care of that page, Church of Christ. And you can click back and forth. Here's where that's how you change back and forth inside the pages and your ads. It doesn't care. You change that inside your ad wherever you are. You know, when you're creating an ad for each one, those things are already there. Okay. So this is a page there and you can do again. You don't see your profile page. You just see what you already have here, just like your normal pages. Now to get back to your other page, you simply click on that again. It will open back up and will take you back to where you want to go. Now, the other thing is, is that here is where people go, I can't see pages or whatever. I can't get it back out. It's very simple. If you go right here, let me get a little thing to make sure that we can, um, you get this down here so you can see this, okay? And spotlight this right here for us, okay? 
So see right here, it says right here, Enduring Investments right here. If you click on that, it will drop down. And this is where it tells me I am. Here's my personal account ad. If I click on this, I can go there to do advertising. I prefer not to do that. That's why I have it set up because there are two different credit cards here. But if you want to go back out to your regular news feed, you just simply click right there, go to personal news feed or log out of your system here. And you just click on that right there and it will then take you right back to your regular profile pages. See, this is where I was earlier. If I want to get back in, go back up here to the top, click yeah right here. It should shoot me right back in to my business page. There I am again. Now, I'll show you something else while I'm here, okay? And that is that if you have, let's just scroll down here. Um, let it pop up, let it populate itself. Little video I did. And let's come on down here. Got people recently find one um, where there are some somebody that's commented here. Okay, right here. Let's this here Reese Scruggs. Yeah, Scruggs right here. See if I want to see this person, you click here inside your business manager it will not let you see their profile page. So see if I click on this right here, then it will not usually, let me see what it does here. There, see it says you do not have permission to view the profile of this person, but you can view them when you log into your personal account. View on facebook.com, click right there. It's that simple. It will then take you to their page. And there you get to look and see who they are. When you get through, you can simply come right here, click the back button, it will take you back into where you want to go at, back into your business manager. And let's see, there we are, populating yourself back. And then you can continue on with your work. So, so there we go. I just want to show you that brief little bit of information that many people think or see to themselves that we cannot get to where we need to be here. There's aggravation, this, that, and the other. But honestly, if you're going to do advertising, Facebook says it prefers you to be under your business account. Business right at the top, businessfacebook.com, blah, blah, blah. Here's all your stuff. And like I said before, to go to your other page, go to personal page, paste you back over. There you are, you can continue on where you were, if, you, if that's the way you want to do it. I hope this has been helpful to you this evening. If it has, please leave a comment below. Share it with other people if you like. They might be able to see the same thing. And let me stop sharing my page here, because uh, I like this little Zoom thing. That where I go. I'm zoomed in ain't it? right there. But anyway, that's where we are this evening, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful to you and to learn your, your back office of your Facebook business manager page of how to go back and forth between the pages. Have a good evening now, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much.